we used to have such wild dreams, the kind that brought us together, made us a movement. We dreamed we'd split the atom, walk on the moon, unlock, unlock our, our very, very genetic, genetic code. code. And to those who said, impossible, impossible can't, can't happen, happen, won't happen. We didn't hear a word. We, we stood, stood up. And we changed the world. Stand up. Stand, Stand up, up for everyone, everyone who can't rise anymore. One, one person every, every minute. minute. One life in a moment. One life. Is taken by a disease that we can actually cure. We can actually cure. And at the time, time it's taken, taken to, to say these, these words, words one more American one has more died. American. One, one more American has died. Soy en América más ha muerto. Unforgivable. This is where the end of cancer begins. When together, together we, we rise, rise as, one. As, one. as one. When we stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up to cancer. We know how we feel about this disease. Let's now talk about resizing our understanding of what cancer looks like. At Mass General Cancer Center, Dr. Daniel Haber and his team are opening up a vast molecular world of future treatment in the lab. And by the way, breakthroughs like this one start in some very unlikely places. There was definitely the moment when we said, oh, wow, that's it. It was in the cafeteria, and all of us, the engineers, the clinicians, and the biologists, all can point to that one lunch. That one lunch where a mix of biologists, engineers, and clinicians took on nanotechnology, science on a microscopic scale. They decided to apply that technology to cancer research. The technology is a chip the size of a stick of gum using microfluidics to search for live cancer cells in the blood. Tumor cells, or CTCs as they're known, get stuck as they flow around and past 80,000 microscopic columns coated in a kind of glue on the chip. The live capture of these rare cells is so precise and delicate, this chip can pluck one cancer cell out of a billion normal cells, allowing doctors to track them and count them and reveal mutations and analyze the quality literally cell by cell. What this means for doctors is real-time monitoring of the spread of cancer cells in the lungs, pancreas, prostate, colorectal, and breast tissue. Five major cancers currently incredibly difficult to stop. A lot of cancer medicine is done by your best guess. If you can actually study the cancer in each individual patient, then you have a better chance of designing the better treatment. A lot of us have discovered over time there isn't any one cure or one approach to treating cancer. In lung cancer, they've learned that what looks the same under the microscope can actually have a wide array of genetic differences, completely changing the way doctors might treat it. Finding those smallest variations can save and extend lives. It just seems like it's, it's, we're on the verge. For lung cancer survivor and non-smoker, Greg Vredos and his family, those variations meant a different route for therapy and success with a targeted drug that worked for him even after his diagnosis of inoperable stage four cancer. If they can target this particular mutation in, in me, there should be variations that could apply to other people. Now, if Greg's cancer returns or mutates or the treatment stops working, his doctors will know about it almost immediately by using the CTC chip, catching the cancerous cells, and incredibly, they'll be able to adapt his treatment. Hello, I'm Jack Williams here in our WBZ studio. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Boston is on the cutting edge of cancer research, and people from all over the world come here for treatment. Tonight, Dr. Malika Marshall shows us how local doctors and patients are leading the fight to find a cure. Oh, precious love. Palmer Doyley has been battling metastatic prostate cancer for the past 10 years. So he's taking part in a clinical trial to see if a new experimental drug can help him fight the disease. I think it behooves all of us to do all we can to do our parts in helping rid us of the of find questions and answer questions with respect to this, this disease. Researchers at Mass General's Cancer Center are also doing their share. They're testing new therapies and have now amassed the world's largest collection of more than a thousand tumor cell lines. And we've been able to identify some of the features, the genetic features of individual cancers that make them responsive to treatment. Here's to the and they're hoping oh, wow. that will help them improve the lives of patients like Palmer Doyley. There are developments that are happening all the time and that there is always hope. 
Palmer and other patients hope that by taking part in this cutting edge research, scientists will one day find a cure for cancer. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News. And patients like Palmer also hope that the money we raise in tonight's show will help jumpstart more research here in Massachusetts. And now let's get back to Stand Up to Cancer on WBZ.